say? My friend, well, <clears throat> well, when I was um, going to work for free, <laughs> work for free, that sounds so weird. But um, whenever I have no bag of friends and them thing that my friends are always my cousins and them thing, you know what I mean? We just flex and vibe. But um, most of them, they're supportive, you know what I mean? They must say, yo, dog, you know, yeah, get for do what you always want for do. And they say, yeah, man, respect. And them show the support. And, you know, some of my family members, they kind of skeptical, like, even the older ones, them, them I say, yo, we I got at the place to go work and them not give you not even bus fear and all of them something and them, you know, throw out some negative energy. But me and myself, because I know sad that me want to do, nobody could derail me, you know what I mean? And at the same time, you have the other people who say, yo, just do your thing, you know, and if you ever need a little help, when you send a thing, come give you. You know, so I always have them type of people eh? you know, so. As it relates to partner, at that time I did have somebody. Like when I just started, no. It was like a year after I start get paid. <laughs> I met my first girlfriend, you know what I mean? And she was very supportive, you know what I mean? Even when I have to run out that late night, eh? I call her and I tell her, and she's like, yo, go on, go do your thing. And, you know, she did a listen for a little bit. And, you know, you know she dropped her sleep because she did have school at the time. So yeah, she was very supportive, you know what I mean? Until at one point she said, yo, only two to six them are here, you know? And yeah, but she was very supportive and she did the day. Like every time I play, she would listen and tell me, say, yo, you know, so I never like that mix day. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but family, them they depend like the border, like some I say, yeah, yeah, I do a good thing. Others are say, yo, yeah, we waste the time, you know, while you have the little group of people I say, you sure said that you want to do with your life and why not go do this? You're bright enough to be a bank teller, this or that and all them things. And I say, yo, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? So there, was, there were always those people who were trying to get me to swerve but here i am now them i come around and i yo you know i'm a proud of you i'm just a look on them like mm -hmm. i'm proud of me too you know what i'm saying yeah well my father <clears throat> as i said at first when i was starting out he never really know nothing you know what i mean he probably just hear me on the radio one time and i said wait then now when he reached over there so because at that time we we never really have a solid relationship and guess how the relationship break down. Remember me that tell us he did always want me to not to be like him. You know what I mean? So if I go pursue some degree or something, probably be a lawyer or whatever. Um, so he wanted me when we leave high school to go to a community college and then from there so probably apply to Carmack. I mean I say, nah, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna waste my time, you know. So he might say, well, if I know that you are doing, you know, I mean, I spend my money and help you do nothing else, you know. So, I said, so, well, I'll work and do my thing. So, we kind of kick off a little bit because of that. And I guess, you know, a, a few years later, I'm just hearing me from the radio. And, you know, at that time, I don't know what his thoughts were because we never did depend on, like, you know, chummy terms. But, I don't know initially when they think about it but now me and him were the best of friends and them thing there and we chat and them thing there and you know him tell people say yo you know some pro time and you know him, him not shy if you tell people say him they try if he you know discourage the whole thing but him see say you know despite all of that I come through and don't tell nobody still but me even higher than him on the ladder you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know, because me play prime time sometimes and him not really play prime time and him get a little stint here and there to play, you know what I mean? But he's not really a DJ, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but now I'm good to go and we're good to go, you know? And I guess he's proud of the fact that even though at the time they try to derail me, 
you know, him realize now, say, it's probably the biggest form of flattery because we didn't want to be like him, you know, and him probably couldn't see it at the time, but it's because we didn't want to be like him in truth, you know, so here I am. There was this one time, you know, um, I was playing on the radio and he was playing on the radio at the same time. So his father and son, two different radio stations, but at the same time, same time slot. I mean, I said to myself, wow, this is so weird. Eh? Probably never, ever happened in a Jamaican radio before. So it was really a special moment when I said, wait, I will play over Air FM. I'm going to look at him. I said, oh, that's lovely. Mm, so I said, all right, sound clash. Maybe you should do that. He would have beat me still because I feel music knowledge like out of this world. Do you guys play the same genres? And um, as it relates to the same genre, no. Because Zip is more, what would I call it now, international slash Jamaican, you know, so. Him don't, him don't play no pop song and them something like EDM and hip hop and them thing. Him don't, him don't know about none of them something like. Him probably hear little mainstream one them and know them thing there, but when it come to dancehall and reggae, him know them thing there. Skia, you name it, him know them something there. Like the back of man, him can, you can tell him a line out of one song and we know the song. So, we have... Uh, Two different types of music knowledge, but female deeper because you know he's a librarian.